Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, got for us today a stove that's been fitted a couple of years. Not sure of the make, there's a plate on the back but can't really get to it. So I've bought it on the back. I'll try and have a proper look in a bit. I've uh, got the door off. The door is uh, here. It needs a new rope. Um, so I've took that off already. And I'm just going to get it ready for sweeping. Um, I don't know if this is lined or not. I'm assuming it is. Um, there's no access hatch in the flue pipe and the baffle is a bolted in type. It's not all. Little nuts up the back, look. Let me see. So I've got some WD on them. And hopefully they'll come out okay. Let's do that now. So I must, uh, it, the, the cowl on the top could be a cowl for a liner or it could just be a cowl on its own. Um, the register plate appears to be made from board, which you wouldn't get with a liner. And also there's no access anywhere for sweeping. So again, that points towards it being a liner. Fingers crossed, you never know. So, I'll grab the uh, little tool kit. That one. The tool check plus that one. I think it looks like eight mil. Completely wrong. Ten mil. Okay. Let's see if it'll undo. The stove's only two years old, so I ain't expecting any major surprises. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. come out on that one this one however let's have a look crikey squeaky okay yeah the full the full dude has come out Take the uh, log retainer out. Get that down here. Okay. What's next? Let's have a look here. I think we should get that, that brick out. Maybe. Side 
Next, I stand that next to the stove. And the other side, perhaps. If I shift the bath a little bit, there you go. Get underneath of it, bring it forward. Can you see? I'm making a mess of it. Oh yeah, there you go. I'll lift the baffle up a bit, get under the brick with your scraper and then just bring the front forward and then you can bring it out like that. Oh, sorry. And the baffle's now loose. So we're just going to drop it down. So lift it up, bring it forward. familiar with these houses but they're the type of house from the 50s I think where they put this a really tight bend in the chimney there's a lot there's a lot around here probably a lot everywhere it's usually what you find in council houses and they put a real tight bend like that in the chimney and you can see that on this liner they've had to bend it all the way around that bend right or you could just knock the bend out, but it can make sweeping a little strange, but let's give it a go. I'm just going to bring you out here. Look. Have a little tidy up. somewhere safe, a little pin which is what goes on the bottom hinge of the door it's a bit of a it's got a little sort of step on it to get something under to lift it out but it's still a bit awkward don't lose that now because it's got a cowl on it that's quite a big cowl it's got quite a wide mesh on it i want to use a big whip head So I can clean the cowl effectively. And it'll also clean the line, it'll be fine. Magnet fell out one of my magnets. I wonder which one it is. That'll do. So let's proceed with the sweeping. It's a big bungalow, so we're probably six or seven meters. Probably eight, I usually get it wrong. 
let's get this baby in. We're going to get up to the bend. There's the bend. Oh, it's going round. That's fine. It was going round. Hang on. There you go. I'm listening for that knock. Remember? Three bars. On the vacuum on. Blue pipe now. covers off, see what it's like in there. in there probably an inch an inch deep not bad at all la 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 clean up
the slot in the back here look and then that allows air in through to the holes and allows air into the combustion chamber and there is a seal on the inside of the stove which that seals up against I'm going to try not to disturb that I probably will probably just fall off as soon as I go near it It's falling off. It won't hang very well in the first place. But I'm looking at there it is. Look, junk.
this brick's not the best. So what I'm going to do is uh, get a new seal, it just goes around these slots here, look, you can see the remnants of it. I'm just going to go to the van and grab a bit of that, self-adhesive stuff, I'll be back shortly. Alright, I'm back, I've got some uh, glass tape, 8mm uh, wide, 3mm thick. I'm just going to have a look at the liner, see what that looks like. Oh yeah, shiny. Shiny. It's only two years old, so, you know, what we want to see really. Let's uh, start in the middle. Try and follow the original marking from the old rope. That should be fine. That's on, that'll do nicely. So we need to bring in the the baffle. And now we need to plunk it on top of the bricks. do and I think now we need to get the side bricks in before we bolt it down so let's put that bit in there's a little bit of trim goes on the front like that okay let's clean these bricks I 
out. And in it goes. You get that? Sure them holes are lined up. No, they are not. So to just wiggle. Nope. That'll do. So a bit of WD to help them go in. It looks like you've got to lift the baffle a little bit just to align these holes up. Not that much though, Look, only a tiny bit. Could have been so much easier, couldn't it? Is that it? I got the other one. There we go. Just lift it up a little bit. Screw them all the way in. Onto the seal. Okay, they're both tight now. New seal on that. looks good. My bottom brick is a bit broken but I'm not really that bothered about it. I'm going to put some cement in there. Should maybe have done it when I let it out but I'm just going to run a bit. Just, it's basically just to stop ash um falling in I 
and it looks a bit better for the customer but I was concerned about it when I turned up but it's fine I don't want to sell them a brick when they don't really need one just yet Just looks like I've done something, which I kind of have, but I've given it some attention. Rob Retainer to go in. Just going to give it a vacuum. outside um, I won't video it it's just 12 mil rope I think I'm just gonna fire in a new piece of rope but I will show you how I'm gonna fit the door back on because it's just fiddly and you know it does come off even though it's a pain but anyway let me go and got the, the uh, get the rope sorted and then um, I'll be back shortly okay what belong okay I'm back, so oh, I've got a new door seal on, 12mm, squashed it a bit there look, um, <clears throat> what you've got on this top door is a bit of chopped off steel, you can see the rough chopping there, but it goes in that hole there, okay, and then what we need to do is put the door in and it goes up into that lug, there's a hole in it, Okay, so I'll put you down and then we're just going to put it in the hole like that and then this bottom one just rest it on there for now. Okay, and then it's difficult to get some lighting on. Okay, there's another hole there you see. Okay. And we need to get this one and drop it in that hole. Okay, and then move it over till it drops fully. And that's it, it's on. Okay, I just hope I've got the right rope on so I'll see if the door shuts. Oh, it's a bit rough, the handle. The handle sounds rough as, rough as heck, you hear it? Anyway. How does this thing shut? Like that. Okay. There you go, a little like that. Like that, shuts nicely. Door seal looks good. You feel the resistance when he was closing it. Just gonna check. It looks different on this side. <sighs> to the hinge side. Let me just have a quick check. Oh. Glass fibers. That's loose. 
see that look that catch loose and it's not drawing and that nut's loose which is amazing isn't it okay let's uh, see what's going on there let's get a spanner on that nut What is it? Is it a 10 mil, you reckon? No, it's 12. 13, so. Now, can you see what I'm doing? I'm just, there's a nut inside and then there's the catch and then there's another nut and I'm just trying to get a good balance. It's not a very good handle. I don't like it much at all, to be honest with you. There you go, that's better. So that's uh, what I was looking for. If you get, turn that light off and get your torch and you shine a light in here. I mean, you might not be able to see, but before you could see light getting past the seal. You can use a bit of paper and, and feel the resistance, but there's no light getting through there now. That's much better. And it seems to have closed up a bit tighter. Okay. Sorry for all the bad angles. I'm not feeling well today. I'm not on the ball. I'm a bit hot. But that looks good. And that looks all right. Okay. And there's no play in the door. All right. So we're done here. I'm not going to mess anymore with that. Uh, I'm going to do my smoke test on it in a few minutes um, once I've got my tools away. So if you have any questions, please make them in the comments section. And then uh, I'll see you soon. Have a great day. Bye now.